Okay, now to the unboxing of the V-Twin manufacturing brake and clutch, hydraulic clutch with master cylinders attached. Attached. So, I already opened it, but this is how it came packed. Such a small item with all this packing, but it has chrome in there, and as you can see, this is what it cost. $300 and if you're looking at this video you're looking for an alternative to what Harley wants for theirs and uh, it's pretty pricey I believe it's over uh, seven eight hundred dollars for this from Harley Davidson can't remember I know it's expensive but they packed it up pretty good and this is the, the package that it comes in part number it's for the this v10 manufacturing is for the 2014 and up now I have a road glide and I'll show you the difference between the road glide and street glide let me get it open here that with me Voila. Well, here it is. Now, I've already opened this one here and inspected it. It looks pretty good. Now, it does feel light to me. Although it doesn't have any food or any cable cables hooked up to it, it does feel a little too light. I have nothing to compare this with until I take these off and the reason why I need these is because nobody's really making these type of accessories here that comes on this road glide. The road glides have this extra long piece here and if you look at see that it's only a small piece and that's what the street glides come on. I don't know the significance of having that extended piece there, but nobody really makes a very few manufacturers that are making handlebars that are take this here. So you kind of have to go to the street glide uh, front bracket here. This bracket, if I take this off, this would fit in its place. So you really don't have to replace the entire thing, but just the uh, this piece here. Exchange it with that piece and they're working with, with the uh, other handlebars so the problem was I can't find these brackets for the new handlebars so what you have to do is buy your new one and this is what I have and as you can see if you look at these online it's about the, it's the exact same size when you look at these on eBay, the size of them look like they are smaller than the factory ones. But as you can see, they are dead on about the same dimensions as the new ones. Well, I have to give you a review as far as how they compare to each other when I uh, actually take the other ones off. But so far other than them being light and it could be that the factory is light also I don't know they're not they don't feel heavy at all but it's all chrome it's all metal they seem to open and close flawlessly I don't have an issue with it so I'm going to put these on and and really if you guys are really concerned about the quality these have had several recalls. I think I've had three recalls on this right here. They had to rebuild this two or three times after 2016. And it had a couple of recalls. Or I, it may be three. I believe there were three recalls on this master cylinder. So what, what does that say about the quality? <laughs> so I figured that it wouldn't be 
such a bad idea and I know it's a $300 gamble but this is beautiful and the factory costs three times as much so for $300 this is what I got I have the right side over here I'm just not going to unbox it because you can kind of get a estimate of how this is going to be real chrome real nice has a lot of fingerprints on it but it's real nice chrome so if you're looking for the v-twin manufacturing 2014 and up master cylinder for the brake and clutch hydraulic clutch hydraulic brakes and hydraulic clutch obviously so far as far as the size and the look and everything it's dead on I don't think you will be disappointed by these now it would be a long-term review as far as their functionality but right now they look exactly like the factory they'll build the factory specs the chrome is impeccable I think you should try it out.